How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you guys how you can create a landing page with WordPress. So of course, we're going to take a look at how you can create a landing page. And as I create the landing page, I'll show you guys tips for also high conversion rates. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Before we begin, if you guys are interested, by the way, in the web hosting provider that I'm using, which will be Hostinger, you'll find the link to the exclusive site starter discount if you guys are interested. And you also find a full review on Hostinger if you'd like to learn more about it. It's a great web hosting provider offering many hosting plans in different packages. Some are very budget friendly and some offer a lot of resources depending on what you're looking for and your particular situation. Okay, so of course, once you sign up to Hostinger, you will have this H panel and it will kind of give you access to everything you need here. And uh, of course, I'm gonna go to the WordPress dashboard. So once I click that, I land right here and I will click edit website. So here we have our WordPress control panel and this is where I can kind of create everything I need uh, for my website. And if you're wondering what a landing page is, it's what pretty much aims to capture information from contacts in exchange for something of value. You know, it could be a coming soon page, it could be an error page, it could be a welcome page, or a retail offer code, or a business to business insight in the form of a white paper. Um, landing pages are different from other web pages in that they don't live in the evergreen navigation of a website because as opposed to home pages and websites which are designed for exploration landing pages are customized to a specific campaign or offer and guide visitors towards a single call to action in short landing pages are designed for conversion and a landing page can increase your wordpress site's conversion rate by encouraging visitors to take the desired action such as subscribing to a newsletter buying a product or signing up for a website and while the average conversion rate for landing pages is 9.7 percent adding elements like images or social proof may further increase your conversions as a result creating a good landing page is crucial to boosting your business and that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys in this video I'll show you a very easy way to create a landing page and there are many ways to create a landing page so you can create one from scratch from the pages section right here or you can simply use the WordPress themes to create a landing page what I'm going to be using today is Seedprod and Seedprod can be reached from plugins right here so you can go to the plugins um, you can add new and I already have it activated, but I just want to show you how you guys can find it. Simply look up Seed Prod. And there are many, by the way. There's Elementor, there's Divi, there's Beaver Builder. But I will use Seed Prod since they have a very good free version of their uh, plugin. And of course, there's the premium version, which will give you so many more benefits. But I'll just show you guys the free version today. And, um, you know, you can kind of see what it looks like. So once you activate the plugin itself, it's already activated for me, it will show up right here, right? So we have seed prod. So let's just go ahead and click that and it will take me to this page right here. Now we have access to the plugin and there we go, landing pages. So we're gonna go ahead and add a new landing page. Now all we have to do is select and customize the landing page template. And the cool thing is there are so many categories right here so you can go for some sort of an air page and you can link the users to something else um, you know maintenance coming soon sales whatever it is that you're looking for we'll just go for sales for this one and we can go for the fitness right here I'm into fitness myself I like that so let's just go ahead and click this button right here you want to create a good name for your landing page of course okay so now let's go ahead and just call this landing page you know this is just a don't domain demonstration uh, kind of URL that I created for the sake of the example. So I called it domain demon short for domain demonstration. And let's just call this mm, fitness um, for all, right? And then we'll just go ahead and start editing the page, which will take me right into the C prod user interface right here. 
Of course, we can go with a blank template, but that'll take a little bit of time and I want to keep the video short. And you have the blocks right here. And with the blocks menu on the left side over here, you can add or edit various elements like text, images, and videos. And to do so, simply click on an element that you would like to add and just drag it onto the page. And of course, you can even skip that by simply editing the colors of the existing blocks. So let's say, you know, this block right here, maybe I want to, okay, let's just click on this. What I can do is maybe change the color a little bit. Let's just go ahead and select a color, right? So they went for this color. Maybe I want to go for a green one. We're just going to go for, you know, just something to maybe, maybe something that's blue actually that goes with her shirt, maybe assuming that I'm not going to change the shirt. Um, we can click on this block right here. And you can also, of course, add an image as a background instead of a solid color. You can add a gradient color. You can go to advanced and customize every single thing about this block to the tiniest details. That's what I like about WordPress. It just gives you all of these. And Seedprod just makes it so much easier to, uh, of course, customize these templates. You know, you can kind of play with it, um, whatever it is that you feel works with you. And once you're done customizing, that is pretty much it. Um, let's say you want to maybe remove this picture, right? Or maybe remove one of these blocks. Let's just remove one of these blocks. Of course, this isn't something that I'm looking for because it's not even in English in the first place. Um, let's suppose I want to delete this block, right? And I want to add my own text block or maybe a button instead, but let's just add a text block, right? And let's just click on it. And here we can simply just type something in like fitness, oops, fitness is your best friend. Okay. And, um, you know, of course, I can get into some of the details right here, kind of make it my own, whatever it is, fitness is your best friend. Uh, of course, you want a catchy headline, by the way, in the beginning right here, um, you need to choose a catchy headline and convincing subheads. So make sure you pay attention to that because if the catchy headline blends well with an image that illustrates the product or service, it will make the landing page very effective. And of course, the sub headline is the next component you'll need to make an effective landing page. So make sure that they're persuasive and catchy, right? So of course, this isn't a sub headline right here. So you probably want to make this a little bit um, smaller. And this is the main sub headline. This is the main sub headline. We probably want to make this a little bit bigger in order to, uh, you know, of course, it makes sense to do that. We'll go ahead and align that because it makes sense and it looks much better. You can go to advanced again to play around with whatever it is that you're trying to play around with. Um, maybe change the color, make it, you know, maybe something around, maybe go with this and then go down and yeah, looks like this. And there's limitless options. You can spend an hour doing this or you can spend 20 hours kind of customizing everything and making sure that it's to your, um, of course, preference. If you go with the pro version of seed prod, you can actually add sections. That'll make things a little bit easier to uh, create. I mean, you can either take one of these sections and just uh, edit them yourself, you know, and there are plenty of sections. You have headers, facts, features, footers, whatever it is. Or you can go to the template that you've already selected and customize it yourself or just delete some elements and replace them with uh, your own blocks. And it all depends on what you're trying to do here. So maybe you want to change the text or maybe you don't even want any um, descriptions here. You can just delete. And if you still want space here, you can grab the spacer and add it right here. And you can, of course, uh, manipulate it and make it bigger, smaller, whatever it is, right? And you can even change this, change the text, you can change the picture, you can select templates for pictures, you can go to advanced and start kind of messing with the borders. And, you know, again, there's really limitless uh, potential here, you can spend again, a couple of hours on this or up to 20 or even 30 hours, really. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And it can be really fun. You can add links to these pictures. 
um, or any block for that matter. You can add links to it. Um, you can add in advanced right here. The rest are, of course, you know, locked behind the pro version. But let's say at the very end right here, you want to add a contact form. You can drag one of these, drag the contact form, add it right here. And uh, let's just go ahead and select a new form, simple contact form or contact form. Let's just go for the simple contact form. So simple contact form, we'll go to new form, right? And I've already selected the simple contact form, but let's just say, you know, we're going to use this template anyways, and you can add things because I've already edited the other one. Um, you can add fields, you can add field options, and whatever it is that you're trying to do, uh, this is actually locked behind uh, the pro version, but in general, you know, you can add this name, first name, last name, middle name, uh, in the description, you can add some things like, hmm, um, don't use numbers, whatever. <laughs> this is this is kind of stupid. But um, yeah, it's just for the sake of the example. Let's go to advanced. And uh, maybe we can make this large, small. Um, for the first name, you can add some as you can tell with the previous one, I actually added just john and with well, the last Smith, whatever, I don't know. Um, you know, Carl, maybe. And um, that's pretty much it, really. It's a very easy kind of uh, simple contact form template. And uh, we'll go ahead and save and click away. And there you go. There you have it. It's as simple as that. So, of course, you can manipulate the contact form a whole lot more. You don't have to go for this. Maybe you want the first, middle, and last to be in the beginning instead of um, after the box. And you want it to be before the boxes right here. Um, so yeah, you can definitely just mess around with it as much as you would like. And uh, there's just, again, limitless potential right here. And it's a lot of fun, honestly. So it all depends on how much time are you willing to spend on this. And of course, the longer you spend creating your landing page, the better it will be and the more effective it will be. Just make sure that you don't create landing pages without images or videos. That's very important. Visuals on a landing page strike the emotional core amongst the audience if done the right way. So as you can tell here, if we're going down this page and I see strength training and I see a picture of a core, you know, it kind of gives me the vibe of working out. It's a good core. It's a very solid looking core. It represents strength. It represents fitness. So you want to use an image that makes sense with the text that you have, you know, cardio training. And this picture kind of suggests uh, weight loss and it looks like a real picture and you know, doesn't really look edited as you can tell here you see some stretch marks and whatnot so you know you want to use something that actually delivers the message that you're trying to deliver and it all depends on the message that you're trying to give to your consumers and just a little note um, clarity in words represents clarity of thought that sets the expectations on the minds of your audience regarding what they can hope to achieve in absolute clear terms so i wouldn't really suggest littering your landing page with a whole bunch of text you know, keep the text clean, concise, and straight to the point with an image or some kind of video or GIF, perhaps. Uh, so be very careful about what you choose. And of course, present a single call to action. And as you can tell, it's all over the website. So you come across the landing page right here. The moment you scroll, you have the join now, another join now, another one right here, and one final big one. And of course, you want to ensure that the landing page load time is less than one second. So if you're going to add any images, make sure that they're not huge images. So, you know, you want to convert the image. So let's say you took this image with a camera or you just took a stock image. You don't want the image to be more than one megabyte. You just want it to be a few kilobytes. So if your image is in high resolution, try to convert it so that you can make it a little bit smaller so that the landing page loads as soon as possible. Because the longer it takes for a website to load, the higher the bounce rate. And a high bounce rate indicates to search engines that users do not find the material on the page useful. 
in the page's ranking will suffer as a result. So think about the e-commerce businesses who will lose clients if their checkout pages are even a fraction of a second slower than their competitors. So keep that in mind. You want to keep it as fast as possible. And I think the final tip that I have is that you want to track user interaction with landing pages using technology such as analytics and heat maps plugins. And I'll show you guys some of the coolest plugins right here. We have MailChimp for WooCommerce, which is one of the most popular email marketing services, and it offers an autoresponder feature. We also have Creative Mail, which is an email marketing tool that provides hundreds of email templates with a drag and drop builder. We have Monster Insights, which is the most popular Google Analytics tool that offers insights into your website's performance. And finally, we have Zapier, which is an automation tool that is integrated with over 500 services for collecting emails from the signup form. And once you're done, all you need to do is head on over to save right here. And first of all, you can just save it and you can hit publish. And you let's go ahead and see the live page and see what it looks like. Of course, I didn't really make too many changes. Um, just wanted to show you guys how it works. There was some text here that are moved. Um, you know, I added uh, whatever. I changed the color right here. I added this text and I went down here and added the uh, form. Oh, it actually turned out to look pretty cool. So make sure to check out the um, preview before you make the final choice because I thought that the uh, first, middle, and last text would be placed after the box, but it seems like it's right under it. It looks uh, just fine. And it says, don't use numbers here. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm just trying to give you guys an example. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested, by the way, in Hostinger, which is again, the web hosting provider that I'm using. The cool thing about Hostinger is that it offers so many different types of hosting types and they're super budget friendly. And if you're looking for an even cheaper uh, plan, you can click the link in the description down below. It's the exclusive Site Starters discount code if you guys would like to take advantage of it. It'll bring the price down even more. So if I go ahead and click, uh, you'll notice that it goes down because I do have the Site Starters coupon code uh, activated. So if I go ahead and delete it, for example, no problem. You can enter it yourself. Just put in Site Starters and add it and there you go you have a pretty cool discount so if you guys are interested in that again you'll find it in the description down below and of course you'll find a full review of hosting or if you guys would like to learn more about it besides that comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything web hosting thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day